Hi, this is Sandy, and I just wanted to share with you today some ideas and tips on selling on eBay. I used to own a store, Sandy's Dolls, Toys, and Collectibles, which I specialized in vintage toys and dolls and collectibles that um, I took as consignments and things like that. And I was always on the search, going to estate sales, garage sales, and uh, resale stores. Um, I did pretty good on that, but I no longer have my store, and I still find myself going to garage sales and estate sales and resale stores looking for that diamond in the rough. And I get the biggest charge when I find something, especially for a quarter, only to find out it's worth 100 bucks, which I'm sure would tickle anybody to death. Now, this past week, I got some uh, strawberry shortcake dolls and toys. And, yeah, they have some marks on them that, you know, it's ink marks. You cannot get that out. But my advice and tip, when you do find something and you're excited because, hey, you know, these are worth some good money. And if you can get them for a reasonable price, you know, it, it's worth buying it and flipping it. But you have to be careful, too. Now, when I got this, they were all dirty. They were dirty. Their hair was all messy and everything else. And if you notice, this is not the dress that goes to this strawberry shortcake. It goes to a different one. It's not the old original dress. But it's okay. Now, what you do when you get things like this, and they're not, you know, clean, they don't look good, their hair's all matted, and just, you know, messed up. You take them home, and you clean them. You give them a good cleaning. You wash the hair, you wash it with, uh, I use Dawn Blue Soap. That washes, it's not bad for the doll, not bad for anything you're cleaning it with. Um, and I use the magic sponge, and I go over it lightly to make sure if I can get things like this ink stain, it's on two of the doll's foreheads. If I cannot get it off, then I can't, and it's okay. Some people don't mind that, but these, like I said, they were dirty. Their clothes were dirty. Their hair was all messy. So I washed, and where it needed to be a little trimmed on the edges because of the way the hair was not in good condition, and you had to trim off some, then you do what you got to do to bring it back to life so it can be enjoyed all over again. And I, after... I give them a good cleaning, and I wash their hair, I dry it, I put something over it. Otherwise, it's going to just pew, like that. So that helps keep that on there for about, you know, a couple of days, make sure it's good and dry. And I have a doll brush, and I just go over it and brush it out, make sure it's nice. And when I list it on eBay, I say they're clean because they are. You can't get them any cleaner. And I specify what I use to clean it with. And, you know, because people have allergies and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you let them know. If you're going to use shampoo or conditioner on a toy, you put that in your listing what you've cleaned it with. But it's better to make people happy with this strawberry shortcake doll. You have to let them know that dress is not an original dress to this doll. You can tell because it's too long. It's too long for her. And it's too big. Um, so what you do is you find out what is original to the doll. If you can fix the doll, if you can clean it up 
and then you list it as to what you've done to bring that doll back to, you know, the condition it should be in. Some people buy these to let their children play with them because they enjoyed them when they were young, so they want their children to enjoy them. So you don't want to give them dirty things. You really don't. Now, other things like this here, this is cute. I got this for a dime. And it's brand new. It's, you know, still in the package. Nothing's been opened. But that I would not sell on eBay. I mean, I'm, I got it for, I think, a quarter. And to me, if I put it on eBay, it would be $5. eBay gets their cut. PayPal gets their cut. By the time I walk away, it's not worth my trouble. So this will go to my grandkids. They will love it. Um, this here... Know what you do when I spent $3 on this. And it's a smoker. It's for incense. And it's cool. It's made in Germany. Um, it's a cool thing. And they do go for, you know, maybe $20 to $30. But in a hurry, because I know they're worth some money, I didn't notice it's missing its little bird. And... It's also missing a wooden rifle that would be over here. So, check out the things. Make sure they're not missing anything. And this was obvious, but I was in a hurry and I just didn't look. You can see where it was broke off right here. So, it's not going to go to eBay, eBay or anywhere else. It's, you know, just one of those things. Now, this here is so so sweet in the condition it's in is really really nice this will go to ebay it's vintage and it's stuffed with sawdust now shells i know nothing about but these were so cool that i got them and you know for nickel dime whatever but they will go for probably 20 25 dollars as a grouping on eBay. Nice set. Very nice. So, this one has hot glue on it, so somebody had used it for something, and it can be used again for something. But anyways, when you go to list on eBay, do your best to have great pictures. Set them up, show every part you want the front the sides the back the underneath you want to show everything so that people get a better idea of what you have and if there's any marks or anything that needs to be pointed out point it out let them know because you want to be a good seller you don't want people disappointed when they get something in the mail one time I got a box of stuff that was so nasty, I couldn't even touch it. It was disgusting. So, I was not happy. I threw it all away. And um, you don't want people to feel like that. You want to send clean. Now, some things you don't clean. You just don't. It's leave it as it is, and then it's up to the person. Because sometimes things that are clean loses its value so some things leave it alone but when you've got little toys like this that may go to a little child to play with they're going to put it in their mouth and everything people are going to clean it anyway when you send it to them before they give it to their little daughter they're going to clean this doll again but you did not send it dirty so if that little child reaches in the box and sticks it in their mouth it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? You want to send clean, clean things. You want to point out any problems, any issues. And you want to be a good seller, be honest. All right. You have a wonderful day. And another thing, know what you're selling. Now, like I said, I used to own a store. And... I knew so much because I dealt with it on a daily basis. It's been five years 
And I'll tell you, the things I used to sell for really good money, they're not worth that much money anymore. So if you're going to be a seller on eBay or any other platform, know what you're doing when you go out to look so you don't spend the money and can't sell it. Like this little guy here, make sure you will look at everything carefully. Because I would not spend $3 on him if I did not think he was worth the money. So, you have a wonderful day, and I wish you all the luck looking for that diamond in the rough. God bless.